Hi, it's Julie and welcome to another video. So today I am going to be doing one of my all time favourite things to do every month which you all know about and that is to unbox my fairy loop box. So yeah, I absolutely love these boxes. This month's box arrived today which is exciting so I'm going to unbox it. So yeah, I'm really really excited. I can smell something coming from this box. It smells kind of nice but I feel like there might be a bath bomb in here. This is the August box. Um, and the theme was, so the theme was I'll Let the Games Begin. This is the spoiler, oh. <laughs> so this is the spoiler card for this month. Oh my gosh, I love this card, this looks so cool. This is giving me like last Airbender vibe slash Doctor Strange vibe. Um, but this is the spoiler card, really pretty as always. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a bath bomb, yeah it is a bath bomb. I knew there was a bath bomb here because I could smell it from a mile away. I have a really strong sense of smell. Not that you needed to know that, but yeah. Anyway, so we have a golden egg bath bomb, which is by, this is by Little Heart Gifts. Um, and it's in this cute little box that's like this. And it has this on it. It has a JK Rowling um, Goblet of Fire quote on the side. So I presume this is probably gonna be the last Harry Potter inspired item in the Fairy Loop boxes. I know they said after everything that's happened to do with JK Rowling recently that they were no longer going to be including Harry Potter and theme stuff in inspired items in their boxes but that they had already had some items purchased or on order for upcoming boxes so I don't know if this is going to be the last one this is Harry Potter inspired um this is the quote from um the mayor people in the lake which yeah so that's cool oh wow, that's cool it literally is like the golden egg from Goblet of Fire that is really cool. So it just looks like that. I don't know if my camera's gonna focus or not, but it looks like this here. Oh my God, that smells so good. It's like really gold and glittery. It smells really good. I can't even describe it. It kind of just smells like sweet, but oh well. Okay, that's not good. How am I gonna get this off my fingers? Oh no. That's gonna be one of those bath bombs that stain your bath after you use it. So I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> It won't come off my fingers. Oh no. Oh, so I think we have a book sleeve. I now have gold glitter all over because I just got that bath bomb all over it. Oh, that's, that's just great. This looks really cool. So this is by Mo Mono Leam Art or Mono Lime Art. And this is a Leia and Elias book sleeve, I think is how you say their names. And these are characters from An Ember in the Ashes, which I have not read yet. I do have book on my shelf i've just not read it but wow this is a really really nice book sleeve so this is what it looks like so i assume this is leia i think is how you say her name i got glitter on from the bath bomb all over it i assume this is leia um and this is such pretty artwork and then we have elias or elias on the back um and he looks very very nice <laughs> um but yeah this is just a book sleeve i love book sleeves i have so many of these now um, but you could never have too many and I love the artwork for this. I just don't, I feel like a bit of a fraud having it because I haven't read the books um, yet. But yeah, that is really cool. You can't go wrong with a book sleeve. <laughs> so next up is something in one of these little cute fairy like envelope thingies. I think this is a badge. We seem to be getting badges in like every single box recently. This is an exclusive design by Iron and Ink Designs. This is inspired by Aurora Rising um, by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman, I think, are the authors. Um, I haven't read Aurora Rising yet. I do have that. I haven't read it because I read Illuminae. Illuminae. Illuminae? Illumine um, by J. Christoph and I did not like it at all. It's just not for me. I still am debating carry on with this trilogy um, of the Illumine files, but I don't know if I will. Um, so even though it's obviously not related to those, it has put me off reading um, Aurora Rising for some reason. For some reason, I don't know why. I will read that book eventually, I just don't know when. But yeah, I assume this is a quote from that book. And it says, my current situation could be adequately described as suboptimal. And yeah, it just looks like this here. So it is really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I will keep this because I haven't read the book. And yeah, I'll probably just pin this on my little pin board thingy. Um, but yeah, I, I do like a good pin. <laughs> that sounded really, really fun. Next we have a magnet. Is it a bookmark? No, this isn't a What is this? This is, this is a magnet, isn't it? Ah, so it's a skeet magnet, I think is what they call it. I thought that might have been what it was. I haven't read those books either. Um, and this is by Tara Tajar, I think is how you say um, the name. 
um but it just looks like this um i don't really use or keep magnets so i have no idea what i will do with this but if you're a fan of the series i guess this is really really cool but yeah i haven't read those books and if i'm being totally honest i don't really have an interest in reading them at the moment either it is a really cool design and yeah this i'll put it on my radiator if it'll there we go it's on my radiator and so this must be the bookmark so this is sealed down like a lot are these little cute pouches i really like that fairly puts everything in these little paper pouchy thingies now that made no sense but you know what i mean this does not want to come out oh oh this is so nice okay i love this i love it i love it so this is a metal bookmark which i do love metal bookmarks my only issue with them is if the book's not very heavy and usually not hardcover they just slide straight back out again so if you're going to be using a metal bookmark my advice is to always make a note of what page you're on as well as using the bookmark like put it on goodreads or something because the amount of times i have used a metal bookmark and it's fallen out of the book and i've lost my page is ridiculous this one is by tara chahar art again sorry if i'm saying that wrong and it's inspired by the Nevernight series from Jay Kristoff. This is absolutely amazing. I love this so much. And I haven't even read the series. So I love bookmarks that have these tassels on. But this is what it looks like. So it has the main girl, which I think her name is Mia. I might be wrong. Um, but we have like hair on it and then a little cat that's like cut out which is just so cute i love this so much i've not even read the series yet so i will definitely be using this i really love bookmarks um and especially ones with tassels so yeah <laughs> i really really like this and the little cat is so cute and of course when i do read the series i will use this bookmark but i'm very very happy with that because yeah i love bookmarks <laughs> and next is something that i just wow okay i'm really happy about this this bath bomb that was in that box and has not touched this is somehow all over it it's literally gone everywhere this whole box is covered in gold glitter so as much as i love bath bombs i'm not i'm not it's just not great <laughs> so yeah this does have gold glitter stuck all over it hopefully it does come off um but we have a little hardcover notebook and i love notebooks don't know why i hardly ever even use them to be honest but i just really like notebooks <laughs> it's a carrie maniscalco inspired one um so carrie maniscalco is the author of the jack the ripper series um stalking jack the ripper series i don't know what the official title is i think that might be what it's called this is inspired by hunting prince dracula this was designed by tara jahar again and Novarantal, which is really really cool um and the quote is monsters are only as real as the stories that grant them life and they only live for as long as we tell those tales yeah it just looks like this here it is super super pretty i am loving this this is such a nice item this and the bookmark are probably my favorite items so far but yeah i just this is such a cool idea and the fact that it's like a hard one it's just yeah big props to that and it has the little these i like these <laughs> i love it it looks so pretty it's like so like halloweeny and it's just all the items like the black bookmark and the dracula thing are just getting me really really excited for halloween i'm so excited for the october box oh i love it it's getting me excited for halloween <laughs> we have the tarot cards for this month um so we get these every single month and i love these these are from Nevernight as well and they're designed by Catherine britt and these are the little cat and i think this is mia i don't know if that's her name i think it is um but yeah these are the tarot cards for this month super pretty as always love these and we have the book finally not to get any of these little purple things on my floor because they always get stuck in my hoover oh i just nearly dropped the whole box i just saved it so yeah we have the book i'm so excited i love my fairy loot box and yeah these are just i'm so excited i have no idea what this month's book could be to be honest like i literally don't have a clue so this is the bookmark to go with the spoiler card and we have our fairy scoop and then we have some um artwork and a letter from the author on the back and this is the most pretty artwork i've ever seen i might have to put this on my wall i love it that is look how pretty that is is that not the prettiest thing ever i, I love that love it oh okay so this has been on my list for a while and i've heard really really good things about this book and this is just stunning like oh, wow i love this cover um so this is star daughter by i had a look and i think this is pronounced shweta takar i think or tucker 
I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I really am. I'm very, very bad at reading words and trying to figure out how to pronounce them. I did have a little look and I think this is how it's pronounced. I do apologise if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But yeah, I've heard great things about this book and this cover is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, it has a gold metallic -y thing going on. And then if you look at the spine, oh my god, just... This is such a pretty book. So as always, it is an exclusive fairy loose edition and it is signed inside and even the papers here are just beautiful. I didn't know that was there. I forgot, but I always forget to look at the dust jacket. Okay, so the dust jacket underneath looks like this, which is, come on, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. The design that I like is amazing. So I will read this synopsis so you guys can get a good idea of what it's about because I don't think I'd do it justice if I tried to go off the very little I remember. So yeah, I'll do that now. And so it says, if the night sky holds many secrets, it holds Chatel Mysteries' secret the closest. A secret that explains why her hair is the silver of starlight or why some nights the stars call Chatel by her name. It was like a mother who returned to her place in the constellation Pusher years ago. Since that day, Chatel has been forced to hide. But as her 17th birthday draws near, the pull from the sky is growing stronger. So strong that Chatel loses control and a flare of starfire burns her human father, an injury only a full star's blood can heal. Chatel has no choice but to answer the star song and ascend to the sky, but a celestial family has summoned her for a reason, to act as their human champion in a competition to decide the next ruling house of the heavens. Desperate to save her father, Chatel agrees, but nothing could have prepared Chatel to face the star's dark history or the forces that are working to shut the gate between the realms for good. Sounds so good. I, I don't think I've ever read a book that's got this whole celestial star vibe, so I'm here for it. I'm so excited to read this book. And the cover is just beautiful. The story sounds amazing. And I do again apologise if I'm pronouncing any names wrong. But yeah, I just, I really, really cannot wait to read this book. I'm really, really excited for this one. I love the whole vibe of the like stars and the heavens and all that stuff so i'm really really excited for this one it's just one of the prettiest fairy loot books i think we've ever ever had and just look at it you can't even see it <laughs> there we go if i put that there just look how beautiful it looks on my shelf oh i'm so excited i'm gonna have to add that to my tbr so fast so that is everything in this month's fairy loot box i love pretty much everything and I'm really really excited about the book as well I can't remember if it's already out or been out for a while but if you have read it then do comment your thoughts down below um I think I might read this maybe like November because the whole like celestial vibe sounds like more something I'd like to read in winter and I just yeah I think I'll save it for them because my TV for the next two months is really hectic and I'm not reading as much as I should be right now so yeah <laughs> i just love all the items in this box <laughs> so yeah i really hope you guys like this video if you did then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to i'd really really love it if you kind of joined this space i don't know what to call it but i'd love it if you guys subscribed oh before i go i will link the book of the month um in the description box along with a link to subscribe to fairly if you'd like to yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys soon bye